Hello, everyone. This is Jin, a TCM practitioner and instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for acupuncture case study. The book we use I put below. I hope I can help the students study and review for the class. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start. Give his name. <clears throat> That's the pattern. That's the pattern. Yeah, you need, you need name. Yeah, common code. Yeah, you need name, common code. Yeah, you need name, common code. Oh, Gamal is good also. Yeah, Chinese name, Gamal. Yeah, English name, common code. Yeah. Then we talk about the pattern. Yeah, wind heat. Everybody go to wind heat pattern. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, wind heat. Okay, yeah. So pretty clear and pretty easily. They have symptoms. Short time, history, just one day. Yeah, just one day. And uh, <clears throat> we say external pattern, a vision to cold or wind with the fever same time. That's external pattern. They should be have superficial pulse, but they just didn't mention. Yeah. So they should have, they just talking about slightly rapid. And nose obstructions, nose obstructions, headache. So that's all the symptoms go to BPI wind the heat attacking. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, any question in this part? Should be placed well. Yeah, we say aversion to wind, aversion to cold. With the fever same time, yeah, with the fever same time, that's the external pattern, EPI, uh, EPI external pattern. That will show a vision to cold. Even, yeah, remember, I know your questions. So we say external pattern, whatever EPI wind cold or EPI wind heat, they will a vision to wind and cold. It's not means, EPI wind heat will aversion to heat. They still aversion to wind and cold. But EPI wind cold, patient more aversion to cold. EPI wind heat, patient more aversion to wind. Because that wind is still in there. Yeah. yeah, disperse wind, clear heat. Yeah, disperse. I still wind heat, yeah. Benefit the south, yeah, still good, yeah. <clears throat> so that's basically the same with the book. I swear the positive wind and heat. And then your points, yeah, your points. Yeah, I saw Sanyang Fly, Long 7, <clears throat> Long 11, LI 11, Long 10, LI 11, yes. Scabbing, yes. Bladder 12, Bladder 13, and uh, do 14. <clears throat> yeah, I saw 17. Reading long 11, long 10, LI4, LI11, 
Bladder Trail, Goblet 20, LI 20. Yeah. So, so still, yeah, still, uh, Bladder Trail is the wind poise. That should be good. Yeah, should be good. Uh, oh, you means coming in that area, right? Yeah. So basically, still, Bladder 13, I will like to use for the basic kind of uh, problems. Yeah. <clears throat> but usually, when we do the copy, yeah, uh, just the along the bladder channel should be good. Yeah, should be good. <clears throat> and uh, long pen, yeah, long pen is a good poise to benefit the lung. Yeah, benefit, relieve some sore thought there. And also long 11. Yeah, long pen, long 11. These two points uh, good for benefit the sound. So certainly lung 11 is easily ble bleeding. Yeah, lung 10, you can needle there. <coughs> and also we can bleed in uh, LI1. LI1, yeah, LI1. Uh, large task time one, we still can bleed in, reduce some heat in there. Yeah. Uh, double letter 20 is good poise uh, for wind. Yeah. I 20 is good poise to uh, open the nose. Yeah. So basically, your poise uh, is good here. Uh, Senior 5 for external passenger, uh, long 7 for external passenger, uh, 4 for external passenger. Yeah. And the 214, yeah, 214. 214 we talked about before can clear heat both from external and internal. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. Certainly, we are not necessary to use all the points. We can pick up some points from here. Uh, small intestines 17. I think you'll use that one for local points, treat the salt iron, right? Good for sore throat. Small intestine 17 on the back. Okay, so let's see what's the point of the book. Uh, 214, 214. We say clear heat, yeah, clear heat. Uh, LI11, clear heat. And the uh, gallbladder 20 is the wind poise, clear wind. And the small intestine 17, yeah, truly they, they go to small intestine 17 on top. Yeah, local points remove heat from the side. Yeah. So that's for these case. It's not a lot of complicated. It's a common cold case. <clears throat> Any questions about this case? It looks good. Okay, so we discuss like uh, some case more complicated today, and uh, the last case is pretty simple. We don't have too many questions to discuss. So that's we talking about in your case. Yeah, in your case. Uh, try to pick up some let it be complicated case. Like uh, we have a lot of points to discuss. Try not to just bring the case like this, like just the common code. Everybody familiar with. And nothing more to discuss. That's not interesting. Yeah. So don't worry about your diagnosis or your treatment principle. So basically, we just try to bring more interest, interesting case, and then we have more points to discuss. It will not affect your mark, yeah, whatever. 
uh, like you put a diagnosis there, it will, it will not impact in your mark. We just try to bring more case to discuss. So try to not bring the case like a common code, not bring the case like a just a shoulder pain. So look like a too simple and nothing to discuss. So try to bring the case, let it be complicated, like we talking about the case before. Uh, why is the uh, lung heat attacking, uh, liver heat attacking the lung? <clears throat> and then we have another case for wind stroke. So certainly you can uh, bring internal medicine case, yeah, internal med case. You also can bring like a gynecology case or pediatric case or internal medicine case. So any kind of case is welcome. Just not too simple, yeah, not just the common code, not just uh, like a uh, local label. Yeah. So remember, everybody uh, will prepare two cases, discuss for discuss. So anytime we're ready for your case, just let me know, and then we can discuss together. Yeah, we can discuss together. <clears throat>